This has always been one of the most cowardly things Fire Emblem does. Because now the Poison Axe is an Iron Axe. Because God just hates fun. I've just realized I called Shozo Kaga God. There is no meme. This is just a threat. Welcome back to Fire Emblem for Seti Cut. Last time, Fergus died, and then I rewrote history. So he's fine. He got better. Now, we should be able to easily clean up here. Granted, this guy is notoriously kind of a dingus to try and capture. But I should, keyword being should, be able to get him. I have some degree of confidence in my ability to just go get him. Now, I would love if you could get the kill there. I do have to worry about that thing. That thing is going to be really annoying. But... Marty and Ronan combined... Should be able to get this. Now, I have learned some things. By hitting select in the character screen, I can see a character's growth rates. So, apparently, Ronan just doesn't have any strength. At all. Like, I knew, he, I know, I knew Ronan didn't have good strength. But, hmm. So, with this, we can see just how, this is what the scrolls give. If I let someone have all four of the scrolls, the main boost is to skill and speed. Looking at this makes that level up Fergus just got. Where he got nothing other than a health and speed. That just makes that all the more insulting. Marty, do you kill with the Iron Axe? You don't, actually. Kalyan, you can attack with the Javelin? Maybe? Yeah, this should weaken him. I don't know why I thought you'd have a support bonus with Finn. Alright, there we go. Now, Marty... Let's put... Let me look around here. Be careful. With Leaf right here, is Marty one of those people that gets a bonus from Leaf? He is. This probably won't level Marty up. But it will give him some experience. Excellent. Um, I need to bait that guy. He's a venom bow. That's obnoxious. But if we equip that and leave Fergus right there, we should be okay. Alright, Shiva, see whatever the heck's in this house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What are you giving me? Ooh, another Master Seal. Okay. I should keep promotion in the back of my mind for a little bit. Okay, enemy phase. Alright, you're attacking with the bow. Ow. I don't think I have the antitoxin, but now that I think about it, that's probably why the vendor... Not the vendor. That's supply. That's a vendor. I, I should be able to end before Fergus is in any real danger. Alright. How easy will this work? Actually, pretty easy. Alright. Let's start with Hicks. Now that... Oh. Very interesting. I probably should attempt to capture him, right? Like, that that's definitely something I should do.
Yeah, I mean, what if I want to get greedy for Marty to get experience? Like, what's really more important? A free Iron Axe, Iron Bow, and Vulnerary, or a level up on Marty? Can I do both? Sixty-one percent chance! And then if that doesn't work, I'll just ca- oh, hold on. Yeah, if that- and if this doesn't work, I'll just- hang on, it's not the- You do not need health or strength. Like, that's not something- I mean, yeah, might as well. Alright. If this doesn't work, then I'll just capture him with Fergus. Nice! And that should level up Marty, because that's a promoted unit. Yes! Come on, Marty party! Another point of skill. My boy is learning to read. So proud of him. What the heckity heck for you? Alright. Fergus, you can go down there. Leaf over here. Um, Finn? Oh, yeah, sure, Finn. Finn! Uh, take all of this man's belongings. Take. Release. Okay. Finn is typically the secret to capturing this guy up ahead. He is what makes it... He's what makes the magic happen. Typically. Okay. We have started the near endless reinforcement spawn. If I remember over here is like a luck ring, I think. Regardless. Um Let's see how this goes. Oh, that's um That's not going at all now, is it? Alright, Marty. Trade. Give. Oh, hang on. Give him all the scrolls. Yes. Alright. And even though this javelin won't do damage unless it crits, um, Finn will get some experience. Yeah, 7 EXP, baby. Hoven, um, of Cyan. Uh, I guess Shiva can be here for these chuckle nuts? Am I gonna use Kalyan this run through? Nah, I used Kalyan my first run through of FE5. His usefulness to me will end when he acquires the Paragon Sword. Alright. And the reinforcements are endless. Now, a red lobster. Okay. Oh. You know, it would probably have been smart to have the, uh... Probably would have been smart. Oh, jeez. Alright. A cyan attack with the Vogue. Let me, let me think here. The first attack will do four damage... That brings him down to 36, and the following crit would not kill him. Unless he crits on both attacks. Okay. Uh... Leaf. Okay. If he hits with both hits of the light brand. Yes, okay. Just, you can proc adept, but please don't. Okay. Okay, just stop. Stop attacking. No, no, you proc adept twice. Oh, you blocked it that twice! No, 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 no!
I need to I need to see something here. Adept attack speed times two. His attack speed was one less because he just gained a point of attack speed. So his attack speed was nine. His attack speed was nine. So his attack so Adept had an 18% chance to proc. Leaf hit him once with a 78% chance, and then proc the 18% chance of Adept, which also hit on a 78. And then he hit on another 78, and then proceeded to proc the 18% chance on Adept again, and then hit another 18%. Oh boy! Okay. No, no, it's, it's fine, actually, you know, it's, it's fine. It's fine, really. It's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm okay with this. This is a completely acceptable turn of events. I'm not angry. Kill this man. Well, now I gotta restart the whole map. Cause, uh... You need to capture that guy and not kill him. Alright. Let's try this again. And Leaf, don't proc adept. Okay, but please actually hit the guy. Okay. That's fine. Completely fine. Um, do you even... I mean, you can do two damage. Two damage is more than no damage. All right. Um, Finn, capture, brave lance. That does eight damage. That does ten damage if it hits. Um, let me try to figure something out here. Flame sword, 14 times 2, that would kill. Alright, I can't do that. So let's instead try to capture with the brave sword, just to have weaker attacks. Okay, that's good, that's good. See? That's what I'm trying to see. Capture, Brave Lance. Doesn't do too much, but a single crit will do it. Crap, I forgot to give Finn the scrolls, didn't I? Okay, though, I, that's fine by me. Oh, he does have the scrolls, okay. Pretty nice growth rates he's got there. Okay. Um, with all of that, what level are you again? Level six. Yeah, let's let's put you right there. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's got the vulnerary. Crap! I forgot about the vulnerary. Ow. It's okay. Shouldn't be that big a deal, right? I don't think so, at least. Yeah, 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 all your endless reinforcements. Eat out my entire asshole. Okay. Hulvin's level 8. Hicks is level 10. Okay. Attack, Iron Axe... What was your follow-up critical coefficient again? No, let's just have Hicks get up there. Yeah. I need to read what Hicks's attack stat is. Because it feels like he does a lot of damage, and I just haven't been paying attention. Oh, it's only 10. Oh, Halvin's is just 8. That's the discrepancy. 
Okay. So again, unless he hits and crits with both of these attacks, Okay. All right. Now he's down to 18. Okay. Finn can get this with a crit. Okay. Um There's no way in hell Kalyan does any damage. I don't know, maybe you do something? Cool. Hold on here. Maybe... Maybe through the killing edge all is possible? Maybe? Alright. So, like, you're doing this regardless. I know, let's look at the capturing here. Brave Sword will not be enough. The Killing Edge? With a critical, it will not be enough. Son of a bitch, okay. Thanks, Fergus. Very cool. What is your sword level again? C. There's also no shot that you can... Yeah, you can't capture. Yeah, that wouldn't work. Well... <laughs> Looks like I'm hitting the end turn button again. And he's gonna use that vulnerary. And everything is just going to be way more difficult than it has to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he doesn't have too many of those left. Unfortunately, the endless reinforcements are starting to overwhelm me. And by that, I mean they, they aren't even remotely close to overwhelming me. They're just annoying. Alright, sure. I don't have many uses of the light brand left, which is why this sucks. But if this boss wasn't challenging to capture, it wouldn't make for a very interesting boss, now would it? Um... Oh, if you attack him regularly, solid chance he just dies. Let me look at this. That's four. So it would bring him down to 25. Okay. A hit and a crit doesn't kill. Okay. Good. Thank you, Osian. Alright. Which means... Where is Finn? Right here. You can capture him. G g come here. G g gimme. And with all of the scrolls you have amassed... Sure. Alright. Now... This is very important that I do not mess this next part up. Trade with you. Um. Sure. Oh, I could have traded with over with Leaf. Right. Oh. Leaf, you take this vulnerary. And then we get that one usage vulnerary. Very nice. And now we make a quick little transfer of scrolls between you 
We're gonna have to do more inventory management. Right here. And now, you! What are your growth rates now? Pretty good. Man, remember when growth rates were like 20% in most stats? What strange times we used to live in. Alright, Halvin, you pick up the luck ring. Who has atrocious luck? I think Dalson. Pretty sure Dalson has really, really bad luck. And he could stand to get more. Yeah, I think that that's it. Alright. Now let me get you guys to fall back a bit. Especially Fergus. I don't want to leave Fergus to die when we're this close. Now this is going to level up Osian. And he should get some really sexy level ups for it. Uh, okay. Oh shit, I didn't realize how bad is that. Oh, it's not bad at all. Never mind, we're good. Alright, player phase. This map is over. Yeah, 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 y'all are dying of poison, no one cares. So. Can I get Martin? I don't think this is gonna level him up. But, I'm, like, what is your fatigue? Oh, not even close. If Ronan can get a kill, that might, that probably will level him up, actually. So let's weaken you. Alright, now you're at 14. You attack. You can't double with that. Yeah, 7 times 2, that's perfect. Okay. Then we go over to here. We get all these scrolls over to him. And then we attack with the iron bow. Get this kill. Level up Ronin and leave. Nice. Perfect. All right, level up. What do we got? Now see, that's what a level up all caked up on scrolls should do. It should boost every stat except your highest stat. Because he didn't get magic, he got everything else. That's hilarious. All right. Well done, everyone! We've done it! Now... We can move on... To the next map! Hooray! Leaf's latest news on Dagdar's whereabouts came as no small surprise. Dagdar's trusted subordinate Gomez organized a revolt during his brief absence and make Dagdar's elimination his first priority. Many years back, the Voldrake bandits made their ends meet by means of plunder. The Fianna Freeblades chose to intervene and confront Dagdar on his barbaric methods. Following a thorough exchange with the Vale, Dagdar had a change of heart, and swore never again to let his livelihood come at another's expense. Since then, the village of Fianna and Voldrake region maintained close relations. Leaf took it upon himself to discover the root cause behind this uprising. Hey, Lord Leaf? What is it, Ronan? So, Dagdar and Tanya are both trapped in the manor, are they not? Indeed, and I can't imagine we have much time left. Then allow me to join you and help save them. I'm glad you're so eager, Ronan, but what's in it for you? Well, I... I've only known her for a short time, but I really want to make sure Tanya's safe. She was so kind to me when I was just a novice to you all, and... And I want to do all I can to repay her. Please, Lord Leaf. Alright. First of all, this is a dark map of darkness. That was the game... Alright. Fergus is fatigued, and it's only him, I believe? Alright. Osian and Ronin have to be here. 
Um, Nana would be helpful for healing. Asbel, because killing Gomez without him, I'm pretty sure is impossible. And then Marty? No, I need a, I need a thief. Wait a minute, what am I doing? This is inventory management. My goodness, what a bit of quirky inventory management that was. Alright. So, I believe this is the same. I know that there is new dialogue added for Forsetti's Cut. This is about the same. Gomez is all like, Yeah, I'm gonna kill you, man. We're poor and hungry. And you were just trying to get your dick wet with the veil, you loser. And Dagdar's like, Nuh-uh. Alright. So the, the, the big men are fighting. This is the new stuff. Dagdar, Tanya, where are you? Leaf! Wait, Leaf? Didn't I see you get thrown in jail? Let's talk about that later. I brought a small squad. We're here to rescue you. Sounds good to me. Gomez rallied the entire group against my dad. I don't know how long he's gonna last. I understand. I promise I'll save both of you. Just hold on. Alright. So. This is the squad I went with. Daisy. Osayan. Uh, Leaf is required. Nana. Asbel. And Ronin. Uh, the reasons are quite simple. All of them have a talk conversation of some kind. Almost all of them. Now, Daisy, normally I would not want to give her any kind of kills, but... But... She was close to level up, and she has all the scrolls. And... Yes, another point of con. That is huge. She can steal more stuff. What are her growth rates, anyway? That looks about what I expected. Okay. Uh, Leaf, you can go this way? Yes. Ronin, do you want to get the kill here? I mean, you probably can't kill. But with Adept... And some follow-up critical coefficient? Do you even have a follow-up critical coefficient? I probably should have checked that before I started talking about it. Uh, you don't. Your, your follow-up critical coefficient is, um, Uno. Now, ordinarily, Asbel would not be a good frontline. On the account that he is a frail, squishy little mage man. But, consider you can be a frontline tank by not getting hit. Big brain lessons with Steve. <laughs> now, the thing about this is I really should have managed inventories better. Um, I can sell that meteor and those and that fire tone for a lot of moolah. Because uh, it's not like Asbel is going to be getting a good enough fire tone rank to use meteor. Alright. If I remember correctly, Tanya has an anti-death flag. Tanya will not die in this bit. Like, she can get damaged, but she has, like, an auto-miracle proc that will stop her from ever taking fatal damage. And Dagdar is just going to be Dagdaring it up. It's fine. There are a lot more goons here than I would like. But, I can manage. Any more dudes? Darkness, what secrets do you hide? Alright, player phase. It doesn't hide Jack. Okay. 
Okay, um, let's give you that. And then you take all those. Ugh. Okay, that, that shouldn't be a problem. Now as for over here, Nana, Leaf. Ooh, Leaf can move again. That could be huge. Uh, uh. That guy is made of uh, sterner stuff than the last one. Now, Ronin, could you get like 37 attacks off of Adept? Three attacks, 37 attacks is basically the same thing. Alright. Asbel, I missed you, little buddy. I want to be careful not to get Asbel fatigued, because he is very important in getting rid of the Wyvern Riders next map. Um, Tanya... Okay, see, this is good. This is a good start. I don't know what her growth... Oh, I can check her growth rates now. Well, I always could, but now I know how. No, her constitution was 15. Those That plethora of early con level ups were just sheer dumb luck. Wouldn't have it any other way. All right. That is a kill for father and a kill for daughter. And Tanya is under fire. You know, it's going to be really funny if she doesn't have, like, a miracle proc and I just hallucinated that in a dream. But I'm pretty sure Tanya, like, has a proc where she can't take fatal damage. Like... Any attack that could kill her, won't kill her. Dagdar, I know, is not so fortunate. Dagdar can actually die. But not if he keeps being swifty on his toes like that. Oh no, here's the moment of truth. Yes. Excellent. Strength, skill, and luck. Okay, that's good. Now is this going to be good? Oh, it's a lot of damage you're not taking. Really, Osayan? Okay. No, that's fine. Okay, you folks are taking some damage. And I don't like that. At all. Please let me just steamroll maps with no opposition. Some door just opened in the darkness. I just heard a door open. And that is scary. I'm gonna end the episode because I'm scared.